Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs as well as my newbies as well. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you're comfortable enough, if you've been watching my videos, please go ahead already. If you have not, go ahead and drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like this video gives good vibes and you would love to share it to see if somebody else can have the good vibes as well, please go ahead and share. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, your focus has to stay guarded or dot 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 um it is so true um i uh shared this video today was um by uh uh in ig by hustling senses i think that's what it's called where the guy was talking about you have to be very critical about your focus and it was so true he says um what we can you know anything that you really love that you know is treasured towards you and is priceless you know you're gonna always protect it it's like if you love your car you're gonna go ahead and put an alarm on it if you can afford it because you know sometimes all our cars don't come on alarms um if you have a house you're gonna put security on it and it's like but when it comes to our focus it can go all over the place and i had to learn this i really have you have to really you know focus make make sure you're very very guarded about that because it's very critical um it, it's just like different things that's going on in your life it'll allow you to be very selective you know when you're going through your healing you're letting go you're purging um you're you're seeing everything in your life as a good uh insight of knowledge that you needed whether or not it was good or bad you know and when you're going through that you'll start noticing what is not good for your f focus <laughs> you know what is not good for your energy what is not good for your frequency and those are different things that take place that um, you have to really allow yourself to, you know, is this an investment or is this going to be a major setback, you know, and all those different things is coming along, whether it's like your old habits, you know, you're dying off the old to bring into the new of you. You're being very selective about what you stay focused on. Even if you, you know, something comes up and you think to yourself, you know, the vibes are intense when it's like, you know, something is like, you know, why are you allowing yourself to reopen that door? Leave that door alone towards any kind of toxic energy that's no longer serving you, you know? Um, and it's just like, sometimes it can be very hard, especially if you've been that type of person for so long. You reprogram, you're unlearning to reprogram yourself to think about anything and everything that is going to be prosperous towards your life and they want you to be able to stay on that and it's like you have to be here you know your 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 focus your vibes your frequency your thoughts are very critical and they want you to be able to do that you know even if things is coming in and it shakes you up in a little bit or a lot of bit you know and it's just like you know see this you know try to take a positive spin to it and that's where you know your challenges comes in at you know and there's tests that comes through you know or these are the things that you can allow yourself to challenge with it's like okay if it's out of my control you know um and i can allow myself to change how i deal with it is it going to stop my day you know um or is it going to give me a funk all day or am i going to allow this to keep festering in my mind you know you're challenging yourself to that I, i've had to do it a lot of times you know what i have to do is just like you know what what's the positive spin off of it um if uh you know you really wanted a job for example and this is something that you know you enjoy you know it's like good money good benefits you only got to work Monday through Friday you know if any kind of hours you got to do extra they pay a time and a half for you know and then next thing you know you have all the qualifications to get this matter of fact you may be overqualified for this and next thing you know it made you get this vibe like I'm gonna really get this next thing you know excuse me I'm saying next thing you know twice you end up not getting the job and end up getting passed on to somebody else and you were really bummed out about it and you're mad different things done came up and it's like maybe you had too much qualities for this and they are creating something better for you so it's just allowing yourself you know they knew this is something that you wanted in your life you know universe has a better greater destiny for you so if it overpass you they're creating something better for you um or if you trying to date this one person, you really feeling them and thinking they really feeling you. And next thing you know, you don't get that person. That may not be that person that God and universe has for you. They preparing you for something else different. Or even if you're in a relationship and it just don't work. 
this is that situation that learn from the lessons of your past relationships being able to see the nays and the you know and the yays you know for different things that's going on in your life in those different relationships we've all been in multiple relationships some could be still going on strong and that was something that was destined for you and faded no coincidence you ain't nothing no 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 coincidence or accident for anything that's taking place in your life and then the next thing you know if this is a relationship you just didn't fail you know but also allow yourself to you know you learn those life lessons with those people you know there's been times where you know i said oh, i wish i never met this person but then when it came to it it's like you know what that person told me so much about myself that i really needed to know if you're in a relationship and it you know and it's just not working out and you're you know that person's putting so much happiness in you and it's not being reciprocated you know and that person ends up leaving you for that or you're very occupied you never have time for them then they end up leaving you for it then it's showing you you know even if it's like vice versa you know that happened to you or that happened to them with you you know and it's just like you know never take your you know your partner for granted if this is a person that's very genuine to you and you take it for granted God's going to take them up out of your life you, you know, if they're not appreciated, God's going to take them up out of your life. Or, you know, or they're going to take them out of your life. And those are the things that's allowing you to look at the things that you, you see what caused issues in that relationship. See what things that you shouldn't have did or you should have done. Or the things you did and you didn't do. You know, and those are the things that's teaching you about those. You know, stay focused on what good that happened out of that process, even in a toxic one. You know, if you didn't have love in your life towards yourself, you know, this, this was showing you where you need to keep boundaries. You need to allow yourself to aim higher. Don't allow yourself to settle for less than you deserve. You're placing love in something that wasn't reciprocated, so they're telling you to place that extra love in you. If you're around people that just don't love you, that's that time to give you that extra love for yourself. You know, but these are the things that's allowing you to be able to see it that way. And they tell you to focus on the good out of everything, even in bad situations. And a lot of times that's where the real, that's where the real challenge comes in at because it's really focusing, wanting you to focus on the good that came out of that situation. Even if it was something you wanted, but God had, to, he ain't going to give you what you wanted. He's going to give you what you need. You know, and I've learned that and I still keep learning that all the time. He's not going to give you what you want. He's going to give you what you need. And those are the things that are telling you to really stay focused on that. Be very critical. You're allowing yourself to be very selective. It's like, why are you being so picky? You need to be picky on a lot of things. You let anything come in your life, that can be very dangerous. You know? And there's a lot of different things. Maybe you going through a vibe where you feel very lonely. You know, you haven't been in a relationship. No, You know, the, 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 the DMs ain't hitting like it's supposed to. The text messages ain't coming in like it's supposed to. And that's the reason why God's wanting you. Universe is wanting you. Your, you know, all, all your, your, you know, your, your spiritual influences, your reinforcements. It's telling you this is that time to focus on yourself. You know, you can be very lonely at times. I get like that. But then it's just like, this is a good thing. You know, because it's allowing me not to have outside distractions for me to where it allows me to stay focused on myself, where I need to heal at, where I need to learn, what things that I need to accept, what I need to not accept. What do I know that I, what I bring to the table, even when you come back and find out you are the whole table, you know, and all those different things. And it, it allow you, to, you know, you don't know what things are in store for you because there's always somebody for everybody they was like there's always somebody for the some you know for everybody even the nobodies you know and they say that and it's very true and it's just like and not not to sit up here and say this about like oh you trying to call me a nobody no i'm just saying i'm listening to the phrase that's what i'm trying to tell you you know um and there's always something good to come out of it if you allow your focus to get on that it's just like like I said, you in a situation where you're by yourself, you're very isolated. And that, that's really allowing yourself to, you know, just don't let everybody back into your life where, you know, times feel lonely. Because a lot of times when we do that, we messing up on ourselves. You know, you can miss people, but it, it's okay to miss them. Um, and miss the memories you have, but there's you also have to remember the reason why they're no longer in your life in the first place. You know, don't go back. You know, history is repeating itself right now, and there's old people they may be coming back into your life. You know, some of them is good, but some of them's also. You know, either way, it's a test. You know, if this person is supposed to be destined to come back in your life, maybe y'all had to branch out for a minute, heal on certain things. You know, get certain things revealed, and then when you come back on that path to really help each other reunite and go towards that next level that's what something had to happen you know you have to love something you gotta let it go if it come back then you never know you know if it don't come back you never know you know no if it comes back 
then you'll know that's what I meant to say but um, going through all those different things it allows you to really focus on yourself and it's just telling you to take a positive spin on that if you're by yourself this is creating something to really show you where your strength truly lies at what your weaknesses are so you can level with your weaknesses you can learn from those so they can be your greatest strength too because a lot of times we don't realize our weakness can create a better strength stronger than the ones that we already have you got strong aspects and then we got weak aspects you know and it's just allowing yourself just don't jump into anything because it seems convenient and just don't jump in any, in anything when you're feeling lonely you know not bringing people back into your life that you know didn't didn't bring anything good back into your life you may be missing that person you know I used to do that way back in the day <laughs> well, I know, you know, people will come back into my life. I've even had, you know, it could have been friends. It could have been family members that I know that wasn't bringing healthy vibrations into my life. It wasn't challenging me to be better. You know, you want something. You want to be able to have connections with people that bring out the best in you, not the stress in you. You know, you don't want to have to, you know, keep repeating yourself over the different things that you don't like. Or that person shouldn't have to do that with you as well. And so it's really teaching you about different things to stay focused on. You have to be very critical about that. You got to be able to select what kind of vibes you're allowing to be welcomed into your life. Or if you haven't been that type of person that has solid boundaries and you allow people to just, you know, keep overriding those, they're going to put you in different situations where you can focus on having solid boundaries for yourself, having, you know, uh, healthy, you know, um, balance for yourself, you know, allowing yourself to see different things, but allowing yourself to just take mental to note on it and keep it moving and now everything needs a response to it so it's just allowing you to allow your focus just to really stay you know very solid with yourself because that's something that you have to really be protective of you know I have to learn that through every situation that you know I've gone through is very therapeutic you know even though one of the things is coming back and it just really work on your nerves this is something that's really teaching you to allow that focus just to really be positive about that you know if things um that like say you've been waiting on like um let me see what would, would be a good example okay if you're an actor or actress and there are certain things you're really working for you know really working hard really you know wanting to put different positions into your life so you can start getting on these you know on these different episodes you may want to be on a pilot or something like that so you call it different agents and stuff like that and it's just like nothing's really booming for you at that time and this is that time not to be wallowing in self-pity or anything like that but it may be you know th this may be giving you an opportunity to write your own scene out or make your own screen uh, uh, plots out that is really just crazy I remember when I was reading the backstory on seven I love that movie that movie was mind-blowing and it was very that that psychological really hit hard you know but that was a good movie it had great actors in it and then I was just like how did they come up with this concept of this movie because it's like very disturbing but it was very good you know I put this on that same vibe is silence of the lambs I love different stuff like that you know I'm um, gone baby going you know different movies like that and then it was just like there was this one guy who really wanted to work for this record company or something like that and he was working for a record store and it really wasn't working out for him and then he just you know when the business wasn't really going good he just started writing out his own screenplay and they said this is very good but tell whoever that person is you know because they passed it on and I guess it was like a friend of a friend and it's like hey you know this this sound crazy but it's disturbing but I think somebody would like this this is something up there the alley you know it's kind of like Clyde Barker you know that Rob Zombie and stuff like that you know James Wan type mess and you know he was like that person said and then they you know flipped it up a little bit but they said this man got so whoever this dude is he got very psychological <laughs> psychological issues and he wrote it up he was like this is something that happened he said no this was something in his, in his head and I'm just like whoo that's something wrong because you know it was really crazy but I really really love that movie you know cause especially if you have watched it before just the things that they didn't show you was more terrifying because they know how the mind works all about focus you know fear can conjure up some very terrible things in your life but also if this is something that you're creative about 
you can go ahead and you know and place that on something powerful so if it's just like you're not getting the job you wanted and there's something like hey I wanted to be a producer I wanted to be a director and you're you know and that's you know things are like a you know a standstill for you right now make you feel stagnant and then universe is sending you know different you know ideas is like hey why don't you write your own you know play out or why don't you write your own story and you know you you can be able to you know nowadays all these different things everybody's networking so that would be a very good bet for you you know you get it patent or whatever you got to do to make sure somebody ain't taking you know credits for your, your you know your stuff and then you're putting it out there and that's what ended up happening this guy ended up submitting this on to somewhere else and somebody was like man I ain't even touching that that's just too disturbing and this other person I forgot who it was that ended up being the director of that ended up saying this is very good but that guy need to go see a therapist <laughs> because this is very crazy you know and they put all the different stuff in there the way you know the movie was ended up being you know a, a blockbuster hit so that's why it's like all about what you focus on you know even when things are not happening for you right now don't mean it's not happening so this is just allowing you this it could be just a standstill to create something very beautiful for you so allow yourself to be on that very you know protect your your vibes protect your frequency and definitely protect your focus because you don't know what can be very damaging waiting around that corner so allow yourself to be very selective about what you choose to select to be in your life whether it's situations vibrations energies because not everything that's coming towards you is very welcoming it's, it could be a challenge but it can also meet, be sitting there to break you as well so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video much love to y'all thank you so much for the love and support you know we are gaining um subscribers every day and it's truly a blessing to that um and I'm very grateful for that. You know, everything has been really crazy because of these downloads and stuff that's going on. So I haven't really been, you know, consistent like I usually are, you know, like I usually am. But hey, it's coming there. It's getting there. But you know, universe, tell me I got to take a pause for the cause. I'm gonna go ahead and honor that. So I would love to give a post notification shout out to Wildflower, uh, da Daniel, um, Daniel Barkus. Uh, much love to you as well, and welcome to the fam. And Jessica Halton, much love to you as well. And um, Miss Jet. Uh, much love to you and Jessica Lee much love to you and if you're new to the channel welcome I leave all my contact information in the description box below it's all about uh, spiritual networking I'm just giving you a deeper um you know understand into your path of purpose or maybe there are certain things that you you would love to talk to me about one-on-one -on -one. a lot of people do that with me and um just being able to help them you know they don't feel comfortable with putting things you know things out there that may be feel, feeling very sensitive about that they want to be able to talk to me one-on-one -on -one. and you know it's true you know it's truly appreciated and very understanding you know whatever we speak on is confidential you know whatever universe allows me to be able to help you with as well as through my experience i try my best to be able to help you out the best way I can you know other than that you know it is confidential so I'll leave that in the description box below as well as my link to my podcast as well so I hope you have a very blessed day please be safe and responsible everything you're doing whatever you're working hard on your manis is going to come extremely powerful of a blessing that's going to bring you to your knees so do not give up on yourself do not allow you to doubt yourself or fear anything allow yourself to keep going and then it'll come out very better very much better than you ever imagined and it'll come sooner than you ever expected it even through like uh like i said life distances social distancing please make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequency towards others you never know all those things can really take you a long way and i hope you are able to resonate with the video much love to you peace namaste